Well, if you look at the headlines, there's a lot of talk about the stimulus payments that will go out to many Americans. Well, maybe you are in that situation. You're thinking, oh, great. The stimulus payment's going to help me alleviate some of the debt that perhaps you acquired during 2020. While that may be smart for some, some may look into some other options. And that's why we are so fortunate that Alan Borden in our council's corner is back today. Of course, Alan from the Debt Relief Legal Group. Good morning, Alan. How's it going? Good morning. It's going great. How are you doing? I'm well. And I'm sure you want to tell many people when they think about, oh, we're going to be getting some extra money. Let's pay off debt. That seems to be a smart plan. But you're going to say, wait a second, not so fast. Explain what you mean. Yeah. So, look, we are in unprecedented times. You know, we went through a great pandemic. There's a lot of unemployment. A lot of people are hurt out there. Uh, they had to rely on a lot of different ways to make it through the year. So now we're at a point where um, the government's coming in and saying, hey, look, here's, here's a stimulus check, 1400 per person and a child. So imagine a family of four could get up to $5,600. Um, it's tax season as well. So those people would also be applying for their taxes. And a lot of times when you have children, you're not making that much money. You're going to get a big refund because of that as well with the earned income tax credit and things of that nature. So people could get $10,000 plus all in their pocket very shortly. Now, there are gonna be some people that, you know, if you have $10,000 worth of debt, you know, $15,000 of debt, makes sense. Paid off, boom, you're debt free, that's great. But then there's gonna be some who are, you know, $30,000 in debt, 40,000, 50,000. Uh, and that $10,000 that you're gonna get or 5,000 you're gonna get, That'll maybe catch you up on uh, on those payments uh, or or chip away at the amount of the debt you have. But this is where I think you those kind of people might want to consider another option. So instead of chipping away at that debt and basically just paying interest that you've been paying on over and over again on these credit cards that are 20 percent, 30 percent interest, uh, instead of that, consider the option of maybe getting that fresh start through a bankruptcy. Because if you're able to qualify for a bankruptcy, uh, specifically a Chapter 7, you eliminate all that $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 worth of debt. Instead of going for years and years and paying on interest, you get rid of it immediately. Then you start all of a sudden with excess five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 in your pocket with no debt. Imagine that situation. It's a complete turnaround from last year when you're struggling, you're unemployed, you're, uh, you have all these problems. Now you wipe away all your debt and you have money in your pocket, which you can put towards retirement. You can invest in a, a newer car, things that, will, that you need to move forward that will get you on the ground financially uh, to jumpstart your life and get out of this pandemic and, 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 and really uh, – Take advantage of that fresh start. I think it's a unique opportunity for people right now. Alan, you know, I'm so thankful that you're a part of our show and we get to check in with you weekly. But I think this is the first time we've really discussed like an actual monetary amount. And I think it was interesting that you brought up if you're, you know, say 20,000 in debt, you know, examine if that's the smartest thing to do with the tax refund or stimulus. But if you're higher amounts, is that what you tell people when they come in and meet with you and are looking for that guidance that sometimes bankruptcy as well depends on the amount of debt you're looking? Because it's not recommended for every kind of debt, correct? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, that's why we offer the free consultation so that we can really analyze your situation to make to see if paying off your debt makes sense or whether uh, filing a bankruptcy just eliminate it makes sense because there are, you know, it's really a financial decision. It's not, uh, you got to get away from the morality of it because quite honestly, it's very straightforward. Would, are you going to spend the next five, 10 years of your life paying interest upon interest on interest on banks and credit cards that already have all this money? Or are you going to get a fresh start and be able to, instead of all the payments that you were going to make on those cards and on that interest, you could instead put in a bank and plan for your retirement, get yourself on a financial fresh start. Um, so yeah, it, it, it varies widely. That's why it's important to come in and talk uh, to an attorney. And that's why we offer those free consultations. Because look, our job is to do what's best for you, 
That's what's best for us. So whatever is best for you, we're legally, morally, and ethically obliged to tell you that. So that's why it's important to talk to an attorney about it. I was going to say it is so important. And that's one thing I've definitely learned during these segments, having an attorney with the financial background that you're able to provide. Now, you mentioned the free consultation. There's also a special offer, right, that people can take advantage of, Alan? Yeah, that's right. If you mentioned that you saw me on here, um, get the free consultation. And uh, if I can do something uh, and I'm going to charge you for it, I'll take $150 off of that uh, just because uh, you mentioned this. I like that. Well, we are so thankful you're with us today. Alan, take care, okay?